Hi, I'm exclamation mark YT, and today I am going to be making a tier list on Cuphead charms, supers, and weapons and stuff. Um, it's gonna be a very straightforward video. Okay, first of all, you got charge. You can beat the game with only charge. <laughs> um, the one place it's not necessarily as good will be Phantom first phase where. Where, where there's just a barrage and charges like a try where uh, you know how charge works and if there's like a barrage of eyeballs coming at you you're gonna have a pretty hard time now chaser is i uh mm, i'd say it's like has some good properties actually yeah on the topic of chaser i might i might compare crash shell with it i would like I would put these like equal to each other because um crash shot is actually I'll put crash shot first because crash shot is used for a lot more scenarios. It does a little more damage if you actually get the big shot to it. But if the boss is moving too fast, for example Shep's final phase, um crash shot misses most of the time and instead chaser is the like all the way moving the shines over there. So yeah, get those two out of the way. Coffee is very versatile. Um, yeah, it can just it is just really helpful if you do decide to equip it. Heart, heart, heart is I'd say heart is actually uh, I would actually open it has some good properties because it can help with S ranking because of because the damage reduction is really not that bad and you get you do get a free hit. So yeah. Uh, no niche. <laughs> I, I I've just figured I, I figured because it's probably only useful in S ranking, and even then it's pretty niche. A uh, lobber. Hmm. I kind of want to make it a separate tier for lobber. Above purple. Oh no. Lobber. And this we'll call it. The most useful weapon in the game. Actually, no, not. I'll just say, like. I'll just say the best. <laughs> or. It's a lobber. But, um. I have a lot of reasoning behind lobber, but to put it simply, um, lobber is, first of all, an extremely unique weapon. Um. It's the only weapon in the game which is which whose EX can go up to double, triple, quadruple, even even uh, even six double damage in some niche cases. And second of all, the cooldown is pretty beefy, but the damage is good, which means um, which means like you can keep up damage while missing some other shots. Like uh, okay, the prime example of this will be. Like lobbers, which we call the spearing community, where you shoot a lobber and then back off a little bit when the boss is chasing you, and they shoot a lobber back in. That you're like you're basically dodge, you're basically running away from the boss, but he's still keeping up good damage. But that's the good scenario, and uh, you can beat the game entire game with only lobber too. By the way, there will be some places where it's tough, but um, yeah, you get to, and lobber is also a utility weapon. So you can set up lobber chats and stuff uh, if you don't if you know what those are. And overall, if you actually take the time to like learn lobber's properties, it is it is like such a good weapon. Um, yeah, it's Grandius as the as speaking of Grandius, but it's an underdog weapon. It used to be an underdog weapon, but it's such a potent weapon. Okay, are you sure? Uh, can't really think of an instance where Perry Sugar is good. Mod Volume 3, maybe? <laughs> okay, we'll put it in front of you, but why not? Peter is actually a really well rounded weapon. Like, for a first weapon, it's like such a good weapon. Um, I would put it in very versatile. Above coffee? I would put it above coffee. Because, well, my reasoning, it might sound stupid, but you can beat the entire game with, you can't beat the entire game with just coffee, with no weapons. But you can beat the entire game with pea shooter. 
Roundabout. Roundabout is definitely useful in most cases. Maybe even more so than charge. Uh, let me think of an example where chart like roundabout it doesn't really doesn't shine on. Uh, yeah, there's like no place in the game where you can't hit shots with block roundabout. And we got smoke bomb, useful in most cases. Um, but the question is where in use in most cases. Hmm. Roundabout. More than roundabout charge. Uh, I I think I like my placement here. Uh, so yeah, smoke bomb. You can invisibly during a dash will work a jazz for. Yeah, it's like. 20 frames of iframes, if I believe, because a dash is 20 frames. Now we got spread. Spread, I will put in useful in most cases. I would like to put it with lobber, like that with lobber and spread, but if you're only using spread, it sucks on Grim. You do not want to fight Grim with spread. <laughs> and yeah, it's just a really good damage dealer. One thing I do, I will say for people who don't realize spread's potency is that you gotta actually hit all your shots if you want to do like actual good damage. If you're even missing one of the shots from spread, from that constant stream of bullets sub spread, you're gonna be doing slightly less damage than lobber, statistically. So yeah, really good weapon if you're hitting all your shots, 41.6 damage or something per second. Also it's a really good spread, so clearing out minions is also good with it. Now, twin heart. Hmm. Niche. Probably like, actually less than because hard is used if hard is used for S ranks, twin hard is used for P ranks. And P ranks are a lot less common than S ranks. But stone. Hmm. But stone's like an extremely good charm. Like Probably one of the best charms in the game, if you know how to use it. That's the that's the sad part. So I would say extremely niche. Because if you watch speedruns like Mike and Danksy go out of a bloodstone, they're like crazy, but it takes quite a bit of practice. And when I say quite a bit of practice, I mean quite a lot of practice to get to those levels. So I just, I put in niche. Not saying it's not a bad charm. Not saying it's a bad charm. Um, Cuphead speedrun, come Cuphead speedrun, come Please don't kill me. But yeah, I'd say it's niche. <laughs> what stone? I, what did I say what's uh, Astral Cookie. Hmm. <laughs> uh, kind of very versatile. I would put it in useful in most cases, but actually, yeah, it, it is useful in most cases. Um, the only place where you wouldn't really use Astro Cookie is somewhere like Funhouse Frazzle. Hmm. More so than Mopom, obviously. It has small one built into it. I'll do, I'll do it like this. Yeah. Because you can beat the game with a weapon, but you can't beat the game with a bonus charm. Uh. Okay, wait. <laughs> Let's just do. Oh. I need a blue tier. <laughs> That's a good tier in my eyes. All right, converge. What do you even do with conversion? Uh, it goes zap. That's nice. I'll put it in half some new properties. Above these two or below these two though? Put it below. So one good thing I can think of, think of right now is with converge is that the EX goes zap. <laughs> and it's, it can hit multiple hitboxes with the base, base shot of course. Relic. 
Mm -hmm. Divine Relic. Divine Relic is really tricky because I don't really like it. <laughs> but I know it's pretty good. Hmm. I'll put it in very versatile. And because you can, pro you can probably beat the game if, if it has no weapons equipped, which you can do, to, do through the double debug menu. And if you equip Divine Relic, you could probably beat the game. I should think about actually now that I think about it, uh it's probably like probably like here then. Because you can beat the game with it. Actually oh, I, I should put it here. Uh heart ring. I will put it in I'll put it in like very versatile. Yeah, I'll put it in very versatile. Uh, Chalice is Super 1. Hmm. Where, where are the supers? Uh. Niche. Or like here, Niche. Actually, here, Niche. Um, if you're like. If you're pretty experienced in the game, you would. Most likely, know that supers are not good in this game. Unless it's something like Super 3. Base Cup is Super 3. Um, but yeah, um, supers are not good in this game. Five supers of any kind will always out-deal, like, do more damage than, like, a bait, like Super 1. I'll put it like that. Uh, actually, vertical horizontal is probably more potent. Potent. Uh, this is an extra hit point. Some good properties. The fact that it requires five cards is kind of. I don't know. And Chalice Super Three. Uh, it's it's niche. Better than Super One though. Super 2 of her cup at the invisibility lasts like 4 point whatever seconds. Niche. <laughs> and Super 3. Next to Whetstone, probably. Because it's it's niche. Like, you see Dancy and Michael go crazy with it. Um, but, it does need take a lot of practice. Twist up. I have no idea where to put this twist up. I'll put it next to Peachter, very versatile. Because you can beat quite a bit of quite a bit of per like you can beat like a lot of the bosses in the game with twist up. Actually you can beat the entire game with twist up. Yeah, uh, that'll be my tier list. Um Um Trash talk will be in the comments if you think if you disagree. And think I am wrong. Oh uh, yeah, bye.